Here's an intriguing way to use a rectangle to find the sum of various geometric series with ratio 1 half. First, let's start with a 1 by 1 square. The diagonal length in this square is the square root of 2 by the Pythagorean theorem. So if we draw a line segment to the midpoint of the square on that diagonal, it has a length of square root of 2 over 2. Now we can draw a horizontal line back to the square that has a length of 1 half. But then we can repeat this exact picture in the upper right corner. We take half of the diagonal line to be square root of 2 over 4, half of the horizontal line to be 1 fourth, and we can repeat this process over and over, each time we take half of the previous diagonal and half of the previous horizontal. Along the way, each of these line segments has a length of size 1 over root 2 raised to the k, where k is some integer starting at 1 and going on forever. Now the infinite sum represents a limit, so we need to think of the limiting process in this diagram. In the limiting process, we see that the diagonal and horizontal lines fill in all the way up to the top right corner of this square, and so the sum of the lengths of this zigzag diagram represent our infinite sum. But now we perform our trick. We rotate the horizontal line segments 90 degrees about their endpoint, filling in the right side of the square, and then we shift the diagonal line segments over to the main diagonal of the square, filling that entirely as well. And this means that the sum of the lengths of the zigzag diagram must be equal to the sum of the side length of the square plus the diagonal of the square. That means our infinite sum is equal to 1 plus the square root of 2. So from this diagram, we see that the sum where k ranges from 1 to infinity of 1 over the square root of 2 raised to the kth power is equal to 1 plus the square root of 2. As a bonus fact, we note that the number 1 plus the square root of 2 is known as the silver ratio. Let's see this process in action again with a 1 half by 1 rectangle instead. The diagonal length in this rectangle is the square root of 5 over 2 by the Pythagorean theorem. If we take half of the diagonal and then traverse back down to the side of the rectangle, we end up with a length of square root of 5 over 4 plus 1 fourth. And now we repeat this process on the lower 1 quarter by 1 half rectangle. We scale the diagonal length by half and the vertical line by half, giving us two line segments that sum to square root of 5 over 8 plus 1 eighth. And then we repeat this process again and again, each time taking one half of the previous sum of two lengths. Once again, we are interested in the infinite sum of the lengths of the zigzag diagram shown here, and that means we're interested in a limiting process. We can think about this limiting process geometrically as the zigzag diagram converging in on the lower left corner, filling in entirely. Again, we can rotate the vertical pink segments 90 degrees, and they fill in half of the side length of one. We can also shift the blue diagonal line segments up to the main diagonal of the rectangle, filling in the entire diagonal, and that means that the sum that we're interested in, the infinite sum, is the sum of these two lengths, so it's 1 half plus the square root of 5 over 2. This is a geometric series with first term square root of 5 over 4 plus 1 fourth and ratio 1 half, and we see from this diagram that the infinite sum, where k ranges from 0 to infinity, of the square root of 5 plus 1 over 4 times 2 to the k, is 1 half plus the square root of 5 over 2. This latter number is known as the golden ratio. Now it's your turn. Why don't you try this process on a rectangle with generic side lengths a and b? What infinite sum do you find the sum of geometrically using this particular argument? This visual proof is due to Angel Plaza. If you liked this video, check out my playlist on geometric sums that show other ways to find the sum of geometric series